So the Guyanese critic is coming to you from Queenstown. And this is Forshaw. I think this is Forshaw and Arnock Streets. Um, there are a number of officials on the ground here, some from the Jarshong Public Hospital, some from uh, the Mayor and City Council Waste Management. They're actually the Mayor and City Council Waste Management Director is on the ground here as we speak. And what really transpired here, it seems that uh, reports are suggesting that a gentleman by the name of Dr. Barry, uh, who was renting this building here, was only today evicted by high court order. And as such, all of the materials that he had in the building or possessions in the building would have been thrown out of the building and that includes a large amount of what health officials are saying is expired um, expired medication what these medication so this is amoxicillin oral suspension and there are literally hundreds of boxes here of different expired medication. I have never known of any single doctor who uh, has this amount of drugs in their possession. He might have been. Um, and why would one keep expired drugs? Just now we're going to talk to the, the waste management director of the Mayor and City Council and he might be able to explain us the effects of things like this and just to make sure um, so what is this this expired since 2015 right why doctor uh, box would be keeping this is yet to be ascertained I'm supposing a batch number this is expired since 2016 so you have hundreds of boxes of expired uh, medication here what is this less than april tablets um what is this so you, had a, you have a lot of different you got a different medication in this box Is a cream and what is the expiry date on this cream there is a date there I don't know if you could better see than read the I don't understand what's going on there so you have literally hundreds of boxes of expired medication and this is the dangers of unprofessionalism in certain aspects um, in certain sectors especially the health sector now why would anybody keep this and in, in the event this uh, kind of material is used or passed on to patients who are very much in need of medication to to help their ailment now you got an expired uh, medication that could make things worse for those individuals so this is the building and it is in queenstown and it was found that all of this literally hundreds of boxes of expired goods um persons from i see persons from uh waste management here we're going to talk to the waste management director um and talk about the effects because this is just dumped on the road but it's not just um you got some other equipment printers and all these things and all of this is medical at mark handled with care right a lot of medical supplies a lot of documents belonging to the ministry of health the georgetown public hospital with clients information and so on a lot of those documents have been found here too Right, a lot of documents with a lot of information and persons are suggesting these medication might have come from the um, Georgetown Public Hospital I'm gonna talk to the 
waste management director just to have a better understanding of um, the effects of things like this getting into the system, the drainage system and so on. Mr. Narayan, good afternoon, Chief. Could you give me a, a, a slight update as to what have you here and what exactly is going on here from your standpoint, waste management, Georgetown? Okay, so what happened at 7 30? We received a call that a resident um, having loaded stuff out disposed of waste. Mm. And we cautioned them and they stopped. And then, after, but an hour after, they continued to dispose of this waste. When we came in with the concept of make the rest, make the rest, um, they actually ran back in the property and locked themselves up. But closely examining this, this waste, is, is, you will see and you will agree with me, it's medical waste. Mm -hmm. And this can be a potential health hazard if it gets into the wrong hands. Right? It's very callous of the, the person who disposes of these kind of waste. And for them to be storing these waste in this condition is horrendous. I really can't understand the marginal temperature they were storing these things under. And you will see amoxicillin and these other drugs. They are very important drugs that the country will, will, will um, more likely want to use at all hospitals. And these things are expired in 2016, some are expired in 2018, which is recent. Right? So we need to find the owner of the property and we also need to find the legal tenant who is there because well, from our documents that we found there is some Mr. Dr. Barry was the um, occupant of the place and we also need to find establish who is the owner so we're going to do our investigation we already launched started the investigation city hall to find out ascertain who is the owner and the owner will have to tell us who is the tenant and then both of them will be arrested because the owner cannot dispose of a waste like this and Dr. Barry he needs to give us just cause why he would store medical waste at a private location Right, because I'm sure George Hospital has, did not give any sanction or no authorization to store this right, in the city. And this is a potential health hazard we have on our hands. Medical waste have to be treated differently from household waste and commercial waste. So now City Hall is now foot with the bill to dispose of this? Yes, we have to dispose of it because we have, we have to move quickly. We already call up a um, contractor who will come here and collect these items. We have to go with them to landfill. Because at the landfill you have to take a separate hole and bury them immediately because the landfill also have pickers and they could also collect these things and get back in the market and sell it in ways scratch out the arm, expiry date and sell it back. So it has to be disposed in a special fashion, special not fashion. like not just regular. dump regularly no. dumping no, no, no. out. Not regularly. Okay. Right? So we are hopeful to get this out of the way another half now we should get this out. Okay, Mr. Ryan, thank, thank you. you. So Walton Ryan is the waste management director down at uh, the main city council city hall. And he would have explained to you the ramific the, 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 the problems, not to use fancy words, the problems that could be caused if these kind of uh, drugs, expired drugs especially, get into the wrong hands. And now moreover, how uh, talk about expired drugs is circulating and, um, and how um, a shortage of drugs across the country is is one of the things that are at the forefront one has to ask oneself if pilfering, pilfering off uh, drugs from the public health system would would have been one of the causes for the drugs missing because you got drugs um expired since 2016 2015 here and obviously this quantity of drugs would have come out from the the um public health system this is some more, this is expired on 2015. These would have been expired. And why someone would have been storing even amoxicillin, um, you know, medical supplies that is very much needed by the citizens of this country. You have private facilities that have storage for um, medical supplies drugs and so on and it is it is in a certain fashion it is kept at a certain temperature you know look at the condition of these things and one has to ask why one was keeping this why was it wasn't it not this posed of earlier um why would they as the person saying um i was reliably informed that dr barry uh was renting this place and storing i don't know if he had a clinic here because i'm seeing some hospital beds but all of these things look uh, damaged and destroyed. This was more of a dump site for medical waste. So why would one be keeping in the event that the, the drugs expire? The quantity is, is, is um, brought into question for a doctor to be having this um, at a place such as this. Why these drugs 
um, would have been in one doctor's possession? Why so long after expiry? Why so much? Those are some of the questions just coming to mind right away and has to be looked at the, by the public health. Um, the Ministry of Health. Let me see, this is what? So this is the next drug and this is, where's the expiry date for this? This expired in 2016. If this was in the public health uh, system, if this was um, with the Ministry of Health, why was it not disposed of properly? Right? So we got to get Dr. Barry to answer to those burning issues. This is some more. This is some more stuff on um, the expiry date for this is 2016. You get in the clear? 2016. See? 2016, right? So you get that? So the Guyanese critic for Daybreak News, just in wrapping up, I'm coming to you from uh, Queenstown. Uh, just opposite the Rio Club and where a private citizen um, persons claim a Dr. Barry used to be renting this place has dumped uh, quite a bit of medical uh, expired medication and medical supplies on the road the waste management um, personnel from City Hall waste management is here you would have heard uh, from Walton Orion and persons from Jarshong Public Hospital and I think persons from the Ministry of Health are here on the ground and trying to figure out what exactly transpired here and how to address this situation to ensure it doesn't bring ill effects to the citizens, um, the, 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 the residents of this community and to find out or investigate uh, how would one individual end up with so much expired drugs in his possession.